All praises and glorification to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh All praises and glorification to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh who the world calls God and Jesus Christ. All right. And what we do, what we come out to do today is to edify you so-called Negroes, you Hispanics, and Native Americans to show you who you really are according to the Bible. We want to say also double honor to the elders. And last but not least, salutation to the Akinim, the brothers that's keeping these uh, laws, statutes, and commandments, and that's preaching the truth and sincerity, edifying the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So we're going to begin with a lesson. Now the main point, basically the main focus is to let you so-called Negroes, to let you understand that you're not African American, all right? And we come out to protest against the so-called white man and let you see according to the Bible, the so-called white man is the devil, all right? He's the devil that the Bible speaks of. Okay, and all you so-called white folks is going to be destroyed when your heart shot comes back. He's going to put you in chains and you're going into slavery for a thousand years concerning the Bible, okay? Because you have to see the black man, you have to see the Hispanic man, you have to see the Native American man, okay? But we're going to bring the truth out according to the Bible. We're going to go to 2 Thessalonians, okay? This is 2 Thessalonians from the King James Holy Bible. We're going to show you according to the Bible. You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, who you really are, and we're going to show you who this devil is, the so-called white man. All right? So this is uh, Brother Brandon Judah McDuffie representing the Solid Foundation International Ministries. So this is uh, 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2. We're going to read that. This is the King James Holy, King James Holy Bible. King James. 2 Thessalonians, all right? We're going to begin with chapter 2, verse 4. It says... Who oppose it and exalt himself above all that is called God or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So who sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God? This false image right here, man. All right? They have to see all you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because when you go to church nine times out of ten, you're going to see this in the pulpit. You're going to see this on the stained glass windows. You're going to see this on the, on the fans. Okay? But this is the devil according to the Bible. The so-called white man is your enemy. Okay? And he's been beating the hell out of you so-called Negroes for over 400 years. Okay? And that's your enemy according to the Bible. You other Gentile nations, you Japanese, Chinese, Hispanic, you Arabs, you East Indians, you are our enemies according to the Bible. All right? And we don't even supposed to be over here in the Western Hemisphere. The most I put us among you heathens for breaking his commandments. So we're going to read that over again. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 4. It says, who opposes and exalt himself above all that is called God. Now, who called, basically when you examine things, when you, when you look at spirituality, you will see white folks, okay, white folks claiming the Bible, saying that the Bible is the white man's book. They want to put up their images in the Bible and tell you that all these European images is correct and, and they want to tell you that these images is true. But they, 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 these images concerning this Bible are not true. Okay? We're going to show you a couple of images. Because nine times out of ten in Christianity, this is what you're going to see. Okay? Because we're not Christians. We're Hebrew Israelites from the tribe of Judah. You so-called Negroes are the real Jews. You're not Africans. In Christianity, they like to tell you that Moses was white. They tell you all the disciples in the Bible was white, but nobody in the Bible was white that wrote the scriptures, okay? There was black folks, different shades of brown, okay? Negroes, that's who wrote this Bible, all right? And we're going to expose this white man on today. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 4, who opposing himself above all that is called God, or that is worship. Nine times out of ten, when you, when you look at spiritual divine services, in the Christian organizations or any spiritual organizations, this is the main image that is worship. They tell you, oh, this is Jesus. They tell you, oh, this is Jesus Christ. They tell you, oh, this is the Son of God. But we're going to show you who this guy really is. Just stick around. We're going to give you some history concerning this guy, man. All right? It says, who opposing himself above all that is called God. Because they call that image God, all right? Or that is worship so that he is God, sitting in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Because this is what's sitting in these Christian organizations, man. Alright? This is what you see in these Christian organizations. The devil that the Bible speaks of. We're going to bring this out, man. Let's read 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 5. Remember ye not that when I was with you, I told you these things, and now ye know we hold it that he might be revealed Then it's time. This is talking about this damn devil, man, the so-called white man, because he's being revealed in his time.
time. Because back in the 80s, back in basically the 70s and the 60s going back, you so-called Negroes didn't even know who the devil was. Because the so-called white man taught you that the devil got a pitchfork and some horns and a tail, man. He's some red man in a suit. But that ain't the devil, according to the Bible. The devil, according to the Bible, is the so-called white man. He's the devil. Now, what, what does the word devil mean? It means diabolos in Greek, which simply means to deceive. So who have deceived you so-called Negro with this image? Got your kids thinking that it's Jesus Christ. Got your kids thinking that Christ is a white man. Got your kids and your relatives thinking that everybody in the Bible is European people. Because we brought that out in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. All right? Let's read verse 7. 7. Let's, we're going to read verse 6 again. And now ye know, now ye know what we're holding, that he might be revealed in his time. Yeah, this white man being revealed. Okay? And it says, For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he now will let, let it until he be taken out the way. The most high is letting this white man rule the earth till his time is up, man. All right? That's why you so-called Negroes, how you think you was brought here? You didn't ask to come to America in the 1600s. The white man put you on a boat and brought you over to America. Brought you as slaves and worked you as slaves on these plantations, man. And you've been here ever since 1619. That's who brought you here, these white folks. Put you on cargo slave ships. This is in the Bible. We're going to bring it out too. He put you so-called Negroes on slave boat. Brought you over to the Western Hemisphere. Now he got you believing that you African American. You're not even African American. The Africans don't even like us. All right, because those Arabs sold us to, the, those Africans sold us to the Arabs, and then those Arabs sold us to the white folks, and the white folks took you over across the water and brought you in America. So you didn't ask to come here in America. You black folks was forced into your own will to come here by this devil, man. All right? That's why I say in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7, for the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he now will let it, let until he be taken out the way. This is devil, man. This white man, all right? That's why the most I said, he will only let this happen until this man be taken out the way. Okay? But they tell all you Negroes that this Christ, man. Verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Who is that wicked? The so-called white man. You white folks that love to call yourself Caucasians and Europeans. You the wicked. You the reason why the black 